No, maybe they should let ex Mormons dedicate the barn. You know, yeah, I think that'd be great. Active Mormons dedicated the house. Let the ex Mormons dedicate the dedicate barn. The barn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. And you tweeted this out as well to uh, kind of capitalize <laughs> on this cult. So what are we seeing here? So I, I basically tried to redo this this headline and make it more accurate. So I took out the picture of the plates and I put a depiction of what really happened in the barn. You know, the real barn story that everyone knows and loves. Yeah, I, you know, a lot of people, they kind of thought that you wrote that, including Brother Mike. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. You so many parodies and your parodies are so accurate that some people can't tell the difference between a fake headline and a mm -hmm. real church headline. Yeah, I, da I dabble in taking uh, <laughs> church news headlines and <laughs> just putting in my own stuff. <laughs> ah, so a lot of people thought this was a joke. Well, I mean, it is a joke. I mean, it's just crazy that the church lets this thing, these kind of things slide through. But maybe you're right. Maybe they're trying to reclaim the narrative on, you know, the dominant narrative cannot be sustained. So let's change the narrative. So in case anyone Googles yeah. the Joseph Smith in the barn, then they're going to come up with mm -hmm. this innocuous article yeah. instead of the scandalous yep. Fanny Alger affair. I thought that was an interesting theory, you know, church playing chess, if that's the case. Uh, good, very well could be. Now, I, I can tell you one thing uh, for sure, Colch.